नमस्कार आप कैसी हैं मेरा नाम लोरी है आपसे मिलकर अच्छा लगा मैं हिंदी विद्यार्थी हूँ और मुझे हिंदी अच्छा लगता है शुक्रिया आप कृपा है फॉर ऑल द ग्रेट कॉमेंट्स थैंक यू फॉर ऑल द कॉमेंट्स आई बिन रिसीविंग एज ऑफ लाइट इट्स बिन अ सरप्राइज कंसिडरिंग आई हैवन फिल्म फॉर अ लिटल बिट um historically the comments have been more like oh you spelled that word wrong or you can't say that right or again you spelled that word wrong or you can't spell for crap to be fair um i think that's reasonable because i need all the help that i can get and i do make a lot of mistakes so either way good comments or bad comments are fine but it's just been super nice to have some positive comments lately so shukriya thank you so today what i want to do is a first insight into the very exciting Duolingo Hindi app. Now, it has only been released in beta at this stage, which means you can't get it on your mobile phone. The only way you can access it is on your desktop computer or on your laptop computer, I should say. Um so, let's dive in. Okay, so as you can see, I'm logged into the in beta Duolingo um website. and yes there's my real name don't worry about that now i've got a long history with duolingo so as you can see i've got a million and one levels here so i i did do french um i completed the french tree when i was trying to brush up on uh, my french language skills a few years ago and then i kind of dabbled in quite a few other languages um so you can keep scrolling down and see that i kind of do just like one level to see which language appeals to me the most which is um not most of them sorry if you speak those languages um i did get a little bit further in dutch and german but as you can see i'm very excited to be on um the hindi now a lot of us have been waiting for the hindi duolingo app for a long time uh mainly because it's free but also because we do think uh, the way that they teach language learning i know it's not perfect and no i don't think that you can 100% learn a language just from an app alone That being said, it is a really really great way to get your vocab up, get started, start hearing the language. Um and yeah, so just to show you a little bit around um what I've seen so far in my first impressions. So it has changed since the last time that I did Duolingo. So one of the the biggest changes is that there's crown levels. Um and what I really like about this Hindi Duolingo is that it starts off with letters and it really makes you do a lot of different, you know, one or three letters. um the first three introductory lessons and that's with really really easier letters and then some more letters and it keeps going so it won't even let you unlike i did do some of the um hebrew app and it it didn't do that so it didn't really do the letters it just and if you're used to using like a roman script or any kind of script and then suddenly you're meant to read and just associate see these words in a totally different script like in my case it was hebrew um and in this case if it was just dave nagari straight away like i'm not going to know how to do that and that's going to be too full on and actually in fact i did quit um after doing a few lessons in hebrew because i'm like i just can't learn the script i need someone to actually teach me what the hebrew alphabet was anyway long story short um I, although i do have experience with the alphabet because i've been doing um hindi for a few months at university now i thought it was really cool that they did break it down so if you are an absolute beginner or you are just trying to brush up on your hindi i thought it was pretty amazing that they really have so many courses devoted just to memorizing the letters in the devanagari script which is kind of like an alphabet um and then yeah so i've got through uh the first checkpoint and i've done a bunch of basics and now i'm just working on to adjectives and so far it's super fun so um essentially if you haven't clicked into it before you just click on uh, the icon that you want to start so i'll i'll try some adjectives and this is the first of five lessons and you can see straight away that it what it will do is play the sound if i press on that and essentially if i'm not sure what the word is i can kind of hover over each word and it's going to say um what the sentence is so the idea is that i i hopefully wouldn't have to touch each single word and then i'd eventually just be able to read that which is pretty cool so i'm going to say a so this one would be tall men check and it says you are correct now if you're not sure um that this is the right answer you can uh, report it or you can even see if there's any discussions and you can continue on so yeah so i think that it's super user friendly um it is super fun to do so yeah i think it is super user friendly super fun i've already learned heaps more words than um i've learned in university even or in other applications because as you know i am using rosetta stone and 
Um, Rosetta Stone is great, but there's no translations. That being said, I still think it's handy and I'm still going to use Rosetta Stone a lot because essentially my goal is to learn Hindi fluently. Not just fluently, to be awesome at it. To be like a bilingual person. Well, I guess it wouldn't be bilingual because I speak French now too, but like to have it maybe not as good as my native language, maybe that can never happen, but to have it so that I'm super duper comfortable, I can hang out with friends, no slang, whatever. So long story short, um, I'm going to use Duolingo, I'm going to university for Hindi, I'm definitely going to use Rosetta Stone, I'm going to use books, I'm going to use podcasts, like I'm going to use whatever I can to become super awesome at Hindi. Um, but yeah, just looking at the what I see so far, all the things that I really liked about uh, Duolingo to start, which is the leaderboards, it's sort of gamified. I like that it gives you notifications. I like that there's sort of like gambling in Duolingo. I know that's not really like an appropriate PC thing to say, but it's always like, tempting you it's like oh do you want to wager you know five lingots which is like every time you complete a level you get a, a lingot which is like fake money you can't actually really buy anything with it but they're like oh if you wager you know five lingots you can go ahead and have a double or nothing and get like double your lingots and whatnot so i know that's like kind of bad because it's playing into gambling a little bit but um yeah i really like it and it's sort of like i don't want to miss a day because also you can tell on the screen that it's got like um, a day streak and that goes back to zero if you miss a day and I don't like that it feels bad um, but yeah and then it's got little badges so you unlock certain things um, when you get certain achievements so it might be like oh you've learned emotions or oh you've learned you know level one animals or whatever and I think anything that's really gamified is great for learning um, and that's something that I will say that Rosetta Stone does not do super well and Duolingo does super duper well. But anyway, so I was checking like literally every day like a crazy person waiting for Duolingo and I know like a lot of people in the Duolingo community and yes, that is a thing. There's like all these message boards and whatever. We've been waiting for Hindi for like, some people said they've been waiting for Hindi for like four years, which I find super funny. Um, but yeah, I've been waiting for like at least six months and that felt like a long time. But overall, yeah, I mean, in summary, I would say that uh, Duolingo Hindi has lived up to the hype. The negatives, I mean, people do like to bitch and moan about the fact that it's a bit of a robotic voice, like it is a robot voice that you hear talking to you, but I'm also kind of like, it's free. It's literally free, like you paid nothing. Um, and it's pretty good. And another thing that um, people often make fun of is that the sentences are ridiculous, like it'll say something like, my cat, does not drink tea. And you think, I would not say that ever in a situation. Um, and actually, there's a really funny YouTuber that I follow that basically has a series of videos where he acts out Duolingo ridiculous phrases in each of the languages. So I'm going to go ahead and put his um, link down below because it does make me laugh um, quite a bit. But overall, yeah, I'd say that so far so good. Duolingo Hindi is awesome. Um, I'll do a review when I finish the tree, which is basically all the lessons um, in the screen and yeah so yay if you haven't already done so um, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell because now you have to hit the bell as well to receive notifications um, but yeah until the next time namaste